Today I'm going to be firing this Hornady Custom Ammunition 300 Blackout at Ballistic Gel at 200 yards. It's loaded with the 110 grain CX. The box shows the muzzle velocity to be 2,285 foot per second. This is what that round looks like outside of the box. Looks like it does have that plastic or polymer tip on it. So the question is, will this ammunition have enough velocity to expand at 200 yards? And the rifle does have a 16 inch barrel on it. So right now I'm at 100 yards or approximately 100 yards. I've got a box set up beside that block of ballistic gel. I'm gonna shoot into that box, get an idea of where I'm hitting. So there are my two shots not a bad group at all this isn't really an accuracy video but I am gonna do some adjustment on that scope so there's my third shot after adjusting the scope now I'm gonna back up to 200 and shoot at the ballistic gel So I'm not videoing me actually shooting. I'm just shooting from the window of my truck out there in the field. I've got a stake out there at 200, but anyways, after shooting at the box a couple times, I was able to hit the block with just one shot. You can see right there is where I hit. So this is what it looks like from the top. You can see the red tip right there. So I'm gonna say that's for sure where you see some good expansion enough for that tip to come out. And then I see some copper petals back here. So I can tell that, you know, it did probably lose a little bit of weight retention, but you got enough expansion to get those uh, copper petals to pull off. So now let's look at the bullet. The bullet actually lodged right there, so that's a good thing too. A lot of times I have to try to find the bullet. It'll fly up in the air or go in the bell of hay, but that bullet lodged right there. This is a 20 inch block of ballistic gel. So I did get 20 inches of penetration, which I think that's pretty good as well. So this is what that bullet looks like. It does still have a couple of the copper petals still on. Those are some pretty long petals. So the other ones, the other two, at least two, broke off in the gel. I don't know if you can tell how deep that crater is, but there is a fair amount of mass there. I'll go ahead and weigh that and see how much weight retention I got as well. I brought that bullet inside here to weigh it. I'm at 93.3 grains. Not too bad. 85% weight retention. You can see that wound cavity starts to open up at somewhere probably between four and a half and five inches there. And here's what it looks like from the side. Again, that polymer tip was about four and a half or five inches in. Nice little wound channel that carries pretty well all the way through. It does, it does kind of narrow right here where it exits though. Get you another look at this bullet here. So I would say those results are pretty good, but now I'm curious to see how much weight retention I'll get at about 30 yards. So I'm fixing to shoot this block again. A lot of times at closer distances, you'll see more expansion, uh, more fragmentation and less penetration. So again, I'm gonna shoot at 30 yards and we'll see what it looks like. All right, let's see what it looks like. Man, that is a massive wound cavity. 
you can see that polymer tip it looks like it's, like it's a little bit further back than the first shot the first shot was right here the second one was right here they're pretty close to the same now from the top that wound channel looks you know similar from the top but from the side man that is a massive uh massive cut there you can see it goes through kind of turns and starts going downward and it did penetrate through the block so that is very good as well so i do see a piece of copper there and then there was one that must have come underneath that other cavity and landed there pretty good distance apart on those um copper petals after looking at it i was curious to see the difference in where the uh fragments landed so from the first shot you can see those lodged about 17 to 18 inches the second shot that one's between 13 and 14 this one's about 12 so that might give an indicator of when the bullet starts breaking apart but now that pedal there came from that actually came from the first shot you can see it kind of peeling off there and it landed about 13 and a half inches so really looks like the fragmentation kind of begins at nearly the same place i would say the expansion begins at nearly the same place so that bullet of course it came out the back of the block right here i don't know that may be about an inch or so from from the bottom i was able to find it i found it over in the edge of this cardboard so it almost looks like it kind of slid through here and then rolled down into the edge here but that's what that looks like this bullet fired at 30 yards i'm seeing 95.3 grains so that is 87 percent weight retention just a little bit better than the one at 200 yards but pretty consistent there Here's what these two bullets look like side by side. I think those are pretty similar results. Of course, the one on the right was fired at 30 yards. Now you can see this pedal right here. It's kind of pushed back this way. A lot of times when those bullets expand, they'll just kind of roll in that ballistic gel. So at some point it may have been pushed back this way, but if it rolled, it may have tended to kind of turn back like that. So I gotta say, I'm pleased with this ammunition here. Those bullets, they both expanded, both at 200 yards and 30 yards. I got enough penetration to carry all the way through the block. I think that would be a pretty good round for whitetail.